What's up guys? It's been a minute since my last uh, post a video on YouTube, so I figured I'd make this video. Uh, nothing much is really happening, uh, but today I have an unboxing. A good buddy of mine, Justin, sent me a package with a couple of uh, hatchlings that he produced this season. So I'm going to go ahead and un unbox that, show that with you guys, for, uh, to you guys. I also just wanted to share some of the things I added in the snake room. Um, that backdrop right there. Uh, for all those that are anime fans, you guys know what that is. That's a Dragon Ball. That's kind of for me like the OG uh, with, well, of anime. That Akira, um, a lot of old animes, but that's kind of a my uh, one of my favorites. So I just wanted to share with you guys that. Um, also, I've added a couple of uh, green things in the room, more snake plants. So here's one. Um, there's a couple of baby ones that have. Uh, put together, repotted, uh, propagated, and then there's this one as well. So according to Green Acres, this is top 10 on carbon dioxide oxygen exchange, and that's NASA approved. So hey, whatever makes the air better in this room. So I just wanted to share with you guys that, but without further ado, let's go get to the unboxing. So, package came in this box. Uh, FedEx did smush, smash it a little bit. Smashed it the first time I've seen it like this. So, they might have put something a little heavy. So, hopefully the snakes are okay. Um, let's go ahead and check out. This is a gene that I don't have in my collection yet. And uh, I figured... I'd uh, still warm. I'd add th these guys to the collection. Uh, let's go ahead and put that one away. Let's put the box away. Put that aside. Oops. End up kicking the tripod. All right. So let's go ahead and open one up first. And let's see what we have here. That's one. It's always exciting to unbox things, so let's take a look. Come on. So this is a pair. These are um, male and female. And uh, let's go check it out. Wow. They're a bit cold, but hey, my hands are probably just warm. So this, and I believe this one is a, a female. Maybe. Yeah, this is the female. And this little guy or little girl is a lace. Lace female. Kind of looks similar to, to specials as far as the pattern, but... They're definitely a lot darker. Uh, you can see that uh, lighter he head stamp with combos. A lot of these uh, highlighter jeans with combos, I mean, they look amazing. So this is a single jean female lace. And I think, I think the super form is called the white lace. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to do some research, but I don't know too much about the lace jean. So this is the male. And this is a lace spider if he is going to unravel. Look at that head stamp. Wow. This these guys look amazing. Right there. Look at that head stamp. It almost looks like Orange Dream, to be honest. So you can see 
almost looks like a dream bee um, as far as reduced pattern and the oranges. So, but lace is its own gene, it's its own combo. I believe there's already been a lace clown. Um, I think Justin Kabilka has made some. So, uh, these are amazing animals, kind of uh, get started on the lace gene. So, maybe hoping for some supers with this pair in the future. But thanks, Justin, for the for the pair. But yeah, look at that. It's I'm not it's not showing the camera, but this is gonna be this is more pink right here, like peach pink. And when they grow up, it's probably gonna turn more white. So it's gonna be high white. Look at that head, the banding. It's pretty thick. The head stamp is really pretty. It's like another head on top of the head, right? You can see see how light that is. Um, oh. So yep, that's that's it. So if you guys, uh, I'll put his the, the his link on the description. Uh, I I believe he's got a few more available. If you guys are interested in getting into the lace gene, um, it's something that not many people are working working with, but it does some amazing combos especially on the super form. But this, I mean, this uh, little girl is, is pretty. Look at that blushing on the side. The belly's pretty clean. But it's, it's orange. But yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Justin. And, man, this is, he, this girl is orange. It's pretty. Kind of reminds me of the Mandarin. Hmm. I'm just admiring them. So seeing them for the first time. This is the first time I've seen them in person. So I'm just kind of uh, in awe. Just geeking out. <laughs> but um, yeah, tell me what you think about the lace gene. If you're familiar with the lace gene. If you guys have any questions on it. Um uh definitely comment down below but it's another uh a new gene that uh that i'm gonna try to work with uh, they're probably around 100 grams this is probably about 80 she's a little bit bigger so but they are pretty imagine this with orange dream in the future man that would that might be insane and i don't know if they've actually produced orange dreams so so this one with maybe uh, pair this up with an orange dream enchi to clean it up some more Wow, that, hmm. I have to look and see if that's been made already, but uh, he, this uh, this little guy is pretty. So, cool, that's it for this week. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and if you haven't done so, you know, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I will also link my, um, my Facebook and my Instagram page down below. So I do have a few or very limited small amount of, of um, snakes available still. So you, can, uh, you guys can hit me up, message me if you guys are looking for um, other combos or other available animals that I have. Um, but hatching season is about to, to start. I have a couple of uh, clutches that are going to hatch. One is uh, due to hatch next week and then the other is end of March. So those are going to be some uh, amazing animals too. So stay tuned for that. And I believe I have a, I have a couple of ovulations this week. Um, I have two clutches that are dropping next week. So um, I'm excited for that. So really the 2019 season is well on its way. And I'm looking to hopefully produce the same amount of clutches as last year. But just, you know, even better because every year I'm trying to improve on what I produce. Uh, and uh, for myself so I can keep some. To improve the collection uh, so that means some of the snakes that I have in in my collection would have to move just because I am upgrading them with um, the the snakes that I produce that are a little bit better or at least um, going towards my my uh, my uh, breeding goals uh, for the future so all right guys thanks for watching again and catch you guys later